Hello friends, in this video we will study what are the various types of microcontrollers, or we can say how the microcontrollers are classified. So, let's start with our topic. The microcontrollers are classified into various categories based on the bits, or we can say based on architecture or based on memory locations. So, there are various bases on which the microcontrollers are classified. Here microcontrollers are divided into various categories based on memory, architecture, bits, and instructions. Based on the bits, that is how many bits the microcontroller is dealing with, whether 8-bit, 16-bit, or 32-bit. Based on that, the microcontrollers are divided into three categories based on bits. We have three types of microcontrollers, 8-bit microcontroller, 16-bit microcontroller, and 32-bit microcontroller. So this is, we can say the types of microcontroller or the classification of microcontroller based on bits. Now next we have based on the memory. Based on memory, the microcontrollers are divided into two categories. First is the external memory, and second categorization is the embedded memory. So, this classification is based on memory location, that whether the memory is located outside the microcontroller chip or it is embedded in the chip itself. So, based on it, it is classified. Next classification is based on the instruction sets. Based on instruction set, the microcontrollers are classified into two categories. One is the CISC, and second is the RISC. CISC means CISC, that is Complex Instruction Set Computer, and RISC is Reduced Instruction Set Computer. So these are the two categories in which the microcontrollers are classified based on their instruction set. So, now we will study these classifications in detail. First we will start with how microcontrollers are classified based on bits. So based on bits we have three types, 8-bit, 16-bit, and 32-bit. 8-bit microcontrollers are used to execute arithmetic and logical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, logical or, and logical and. All these arithmetic and logical operations can be executed using 8-bit microcontrollers, or we can say that these microcontrollers deal with data in the form of 8 bits. Examples of such microcontrollers are the 8031 and 8051. Both of these microcontrollers are 8-bit microcontrollers. Next we have the 16-bit microcontrollers. 16-bit microcontrollers are used to perform arithmetic and logical operations where higher accuracy and performance are required. These microcontrollers deal with 16-bit data, so whenever we want to use small arithmetic and logical operations like if we want to add two 8-bit numbers, we can use an 8-bit microcontroller, but if we want to perform higher additions, meaning the addition of larger values 16-bit data or less, that can be done using 16-bit microcontrollers, so wherever we require higher accuracy and performance compared to 8-bit microcontrollers, we can use 16-bit microcontrollers. An example of this is the 8096 microcontroller. Next, we have the 32-bit microcontroller. 32-bit microcontrollers are used in automatically controlled appliances like automatic operational machines and medical appliances. So, wherever we want to use microcontrollers in complex applications where automatic operations are required, we use 32-bit microcontrollers. In those complex applications, 8-bit and 16-bit microcontrollers will not provide higher performance or accuracy and will not be as effective compared to 32-bit microcontrollers. As the complexity of applications increases or the complexity of operations increases, we can increase the bits used by the microcontrollers. For simple applications, we use 8-bit. For higher applications, we use 16-bit. And for complex applications, we use 32-bit microcontrollers. So this was the classification of microcontrollers based on the number of bits. The next part is coming. I hope that this video is clear to you. Thank you. Do comment and share your ideas. Whatever you want, just comment over there. Thank you for watching till the end.